Okay, guys, this is the bonus lecture for this section. In this lecture, we are going to use some technique that's very easy, and you are going to learn about a new kind of keyframe. We are going to take the guy and make him walk on the path. For that, it's going to be complicated if I want to create the keyframes myself. I'm going to, you know, put the position, bring the keyframe here, go up here, then go down and so on. And there is a lot of speed in consideration. But there is a very easy way to do that. Now, notice very well that the road here is a path. Right, guys? Is a real path. And a path is a path. As you can see on the viewer here, it's a path that can be transformed into position path. Cool. So how do I do that? I will come to path, press Ctrl C, go to the man here, the wandering man, bring in position, that is P, click on position and make sure my timeline indicator is in the right moment, let's say at one second, and press Ctrl V. Now notice what happened. You have a series of keyframes that have been created, which are identical to the path. If you move your guy now, he will move on the path. And this is pretty cool. What happened exactly? After Effects have taken the nodes of my path or the vertexes, that's what they are called. You can see them here and has made them roving keyframes. Roving keyframes are keyframes that do not change in speed according to the distance. So the speed will be constant. You can see that by looking at the frames here. You can see that the frames here are equal to here and all over the frames are equal distance. So these are roving keyframes. Of course, you don't use one roving keyframe. You use several roving keyframes to obtain a motion path that has a constant speed. Only the two keyframes, the extremities, are you know normal keyframes in this case. But there is something very good about that. Let's say we want the guy to start walking when he starts seeing the dots. Now the dots are coming up, of course, from here, for example. I can select the whole position, I select the whole keyframes and move them over here. But notice if I play my animation now, the guy is going pretty fast. I want to slow him down. You notice he's going as fast as possible. Now, how to slow him down? You select everything. These are roving keyframes. So there will be constant speed on the path. I will press alternate and take the last keyframe and move it as far as I can. You know, they are stretching, but the time in between frames is not changing there are more frames that's very true and this is really practical the time in between frames is constant and the speed is constant if i play my animation now you notice that the guy is gonna follow the path in a different speed now he is slower because we made the first keyframe very far from the last keyframe and this is how you take a path any path you can take and make it a position path the matter is to come to the path Press Ctrl C, go to the position of the layer you wanted to follow the path, and press Ctrl V. You will obtain a series of uh, roving keyframes, and the extremities are just normal keyframes. If you come to the graph here, you will notice these are all roving keyframes, right? And the last keyframe are just normal keyframes. If you click on the last keyframe, right click and say keyframe interpolation, you will see just a linear one in space it's a bezier one but in time it's just a linear one and this one if you right click on it you say keyframe interpolation you notice this is a roving keyframe that roves across time across time meaning roving keyframes move in time to smooth out the speed graph so you are working here of course on the speed graph the first and last keyframe cannot rove. So the first and last keyframe have to be normal keyframes. And this is about how to copy a path into a position path. And I will see you in the next lecture. I hope this bonus lecture was good for you and you liked it. See you in the next lecture.